Jammer blows of Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson had mauled the Army of the Potomac, and yet that army was not destroyed. 7,000 men had fallen in that dreadful week, and the savagery of the conflict was grimly evident in the river of wounded that wound through the green hills. Now a new sound drifted in the soft evening sky. For Colonel Dan Butterfield, a courageous and able soldier, was also a man of music. To honor his fallen comrades, he had composed a simple and heart-rending melody. On July 2nd, in the year of 1862, its strains floated over the graves that scarred the dark Virginia earth. It has been more than a hundred years since that sound was born, but those notes have never died away. Every night of the year, throughout the world, fighting men of America from the North and the South, the East and the West, close their eyes in sleep to its call. And in each of their hearts, there glows a fierce surge of pride. 